Good morning everybody and hello and welcome to my humble abode once again. Today I'd like to actually build the Vajra, which is this tool here. Let's just... And it's quite a complicated tool to make, especially with the Vajra core. The Vajra core requires a high voltage transformer, tes tes tesla coil and a magnetron, which all require these iridium reinforced plates and those are the hard bits because they require iridium ore. Anyway, without further ado, let's go down to the workshop and see, because I've been preparing the materials over time and they're laying them out in a pattern. So let's do this one. So let's start with the iridium plates. I think that's these. Fairly straightforward. Three of these, don't we? Now we have three iridium plates. So the next component. I hope I've got this correct. I might not have done, of course, which is wouldn't be untypical. Take these like this. And we needed the other iridium plate in the middle here. So let's build this. Normally I don't build things like this on uh, on camera as it were because they're, they're fairly straightforward to do. You just need to copy the, the items from the NEI. This one I want to do because it was quite difficult to build, especially with the iridium plates. You need to use U matter and, and if you've been watching so far, that takes quite a long time to make. So this is this component, which is the superconductor. So we'll take these down here and the rest of it's fairly straightforward. Gold and glass fiber, that's pretty straightforward. So here we go. This should make these three superconductors. Now let's go back to the to the recipe. So what we need to do next is this was I think required one of those, yes. So this magnetron requires couple plates with iron plates and one super conductor in the middle. So I've got all of that. It's actually laid that out here. That's this one. So have to remember to put the iron on the corners. And one of those in the middle. And here we have the magnetron. Next item, I think, is probably these. Let's just take everything down. I think it's what we need. Let's have a look. So we need to do this one first. So that's the next recipe. I think we've got all the bits for that. We've got these two here. Oh, I forgot what goes there. I'll have to check in a second. Is it iridium plates? If it's iridium plates, no good. Let me just check, I think it might be iron plates. Are they reinforced plates? Iridium reinforced plates. Oh, I missed out the bottom bit. What's in the bottom? Oh, the electronic crystal. No, I've got something wrong. Let me check again. Tesla coil, HV transform. oh, HV transformer. What's the bad? And here we have the Vajra core. Now I've got a feeling, let's go to this one. Iron plates, perfect. We should have no problem. Here we go. One core, one electronic crystal, one energy crystal, two iron plates, and two advanced alloy plates. And it doesn't work. What have I got wrong? 
Oh. I missed out these. Yes, there we have it. One Vaja. So, what I've also done is I've built a, a charge pad. I think it will, not a charge pad, it's a MFSU. And I think I can charge this up in the MSFU. I don't think it'll charge up in the standard, but oh, that charges up fast. And it here says silk touch mode disabled. I wonder if that's an M and a, an M and a shirt. Let's have a look. M, right, and let's select it first of all, three. M, right click. Silk touch mode enabled. Oh. That dug that up pretty easily. Let's go and see, see how it goes and deals with mobs and the like. We're going to find a mob around here somewhere because it's supposed to. Let me get back on. I suppose I'm going to kill it at 15, 13 hearts, I think. Let's have a look. Attack damage plus 3. I'm not sure whether it acts like a pickaxe or a shovel or whatever. So Oh, uh, yeah, that's very fast. I could test it on these uh, cows, but I prefer to find them more. And run around some, or just wait till later on. In fact, what I also want to do is I want to set up an, another quarry in the Nether. So I could do that first, couldn't I? I think that the portal is... where's the portal going to? Oh yeah, another portal is... it's at the back somewhere. Oh, there we are. I haven't been to another for quite a long time, actually. In fact, before I do that, let me just check if I've got everything I need. Yes, I have. I've got the money laser. That's what I really needed. I've got a load of other stuff I didn't really need with me, never mind. So let's go up to the old quarry, which I've also just done wrong. Let's put this in number four. The quarry should be. Here we are. So what I want to now do is to remove this quarry and the Tesseract. I don't, know, I don't really need that here. To remove the Tesseract with a shift right click and this needs a pickaxe. I could have used the other one, couldn't I? And what I want to do now is to extend this quarry in the same direction another 64 blocks. Now what I need is a, a drop from five down. So I'm not going this last time I built a quarry I did it in such a way that it was a bit painful. Uh, what I did wrong as I dug out all the middle manually and that was a bit daft really. So let's start here. I think this is where I want the, the base to be. So we'll start here. I want to measure up five. So probably the best way to do this is take the salmon. Oops, dig a few out. Let's turn there on time. Let's go back a bit here. Okay, right. So this is where the quarry wants to be here. So we'll put the quarry down. We'll put what we'll first of all put down is a is a landmark. So we want the landmarks and the torches. We only we only need three landmarks. Um, can I put a torch in front here? No. Another I shall use some dirt. Oops. Right, that's it. So go down here and we shall set the next 
a landmark over in this corner. Wait. And now I need to drill mine along here for 64 blocks, which is what I want the mining laser for. Now we need the mining laser on long range, that's just exactly what we want. We want to go down here, no, we want to do it up here first of all. Fish. I should have to be on here, don't I? As you can see, these uh, occasionally kills a few um, hellfish. That's it, what's probably the best place to go is in here, isn't it? as straight as I can. Right, that's good. Just fly along here and shoot any of the as they come along, shoot down here. Maybe the best thing to do is now to, to turn this off and tr try the Vajra. Got a lot of things that are hanging around here, so... Alright, here's the end. This is what I wanted. In fact, while I'm doing all the things dancing around, let's just get rid of some of this stuff, because otherwise it's going to irritate me a bit. And also, a lot of the netherrack. Quite a few silver nugget uh, silver nuggets from the, some copper ore, some silver ore, and some dirt. I'll leave the dirt. Don't need a tree. Okay. So now move a bit further forward, pick up a few more bits. So now we put down the the next landmark and then we put down the last torch here. Oops. Try that again. it on which was not what I wanted to do at all. <coughs> right that's everything I need to do for this and all I need now to do is to actually set up the, the quarry. So this is where I want it so I'm going to put the right click it here and that should go around in fact it'll go around the four sides. So that's where we want it, so now we need to put the quarry down on here. And we'll also need some um, some place for the tesseract, so we'll put that here. So, quarry now. And if I've got this right, it'll simply go all the way around. And the tesseract it goes here. And take away the torch, of course, in fact, all I need to do, oops, another health, another health fish attacking me. Just to go down here, a bit unnecessary really, but I'll do it anyway. Go and pick up that uh, torch and the landmark from over here. And 
And this should be exactly the right height. And what I haven't checked is below to see if there's anything uh, that I could be digging up. That I don't want, that I actually want to keep. We'll do that in a second. First of all, I'll just fly down here. Yes, it's the right height. As you can see, the, the top of the quarry is exactly just one block below the bedrock. And in fact, there's not going to be much, is it? I've got some lapis over here, take that probably. Got a chance? But they also have to come back and do some, put some blood down to make sure. So we don't have to, uh, the quarry can function properly. Oh. There's a way down here. Oops. I'm going to jump. Oh, phew. What's your gas too, then? So the quarry is going to come down through here, so that should not be a problem. That was a bat. Not paying much attention to the mobs around at the moment. There's a wisp, let's see if we can get the wisps. Always a challenge because they move around quite hard. That's it. Let's return home. If I can now find the portal, of course. Which might be more of a challenge. So we've got up there quarry. Okay, so we can go to the quarry. And then from quarry we can go down and find the portal. Oh, there it is. the workshop. Of course I've been doing here is a bit more automation on feeding things into the, um, the sack mill into the pulverizer and extracting it out at the, so, at the bottom into these chests. And that's very useful for uh, certain for, well, things that produce lots of lots of items that, as output. And the other thing I've been getting is quite a lot of um, rubber from the rubber trees and in the uh, multi-farm. Okay, until next time, bye for now. <laughs>